Hi there, time for a little laser video here. I got some water. I got my CO2 laser, my K40. I'm going to cut some clear acrylic. Now first I wet down some paper towels where I'm going to cut. Help, for, help to keep it cool for one and uh, I've noticed sometimes there's a liquid that uh, comes out of the acrylic. I don't know what it is but it'll stain the acrylic if you don't uh, soak it up somehow so I use a paper towel. I cut a, a pattern there. I, well I didn't cut it. I marked it on the paper towels so I can position my acrylic sheet and know I'm cutting out that piece right there. Then I have the sheet in place. I want to cut that piece with my cut settings. It's it's a piece of waste anyway for you know my my pieces I'm going to cut out this is waste that can't be used so I'm going to cut a test piece to test my cut settings two passes at uh, 16 millimeter per second 35 percent power on my K40 and make sure that it'll cut it all the way through and you can kind of tell by the way the water looks behind it the wetness the way that it uh, reacts to the laser when it breaks through but I wanted to make sure I could peel that protective coating off and sure enough it peels off nicely nice clean edges square cuts pretty nice that's exactly what I bought that K44 so now I'm going to frame my uh, work area, make sure that uh, I'm positioned correctly. And sure enough, I'm using an older version of Lightburn in this machine, so uh, I, I can't really turn on the spot while it's framing. So I guess I need to upgrade on this machine. I have a license. I uh, already put it in two other machines. I understand you can put it in three total, so I'm going to try putting it in my laptop my old antique Toshiba cuts like butter that uh, vapor you're seeing I think is mostly steam it's not I don't think it's acrylic although I could smell the acrylic watching my current make sure I don't know don't go over my 15 milliamp on my tube so and I'm watching my temperature as well so I don't go over 21 degrees C but believe it or not these are uh, <laughs> these are uh, pieces I'm cutting for a buddy in New York Chris Napus uh, he's making some uh, pieces for collectible Tonka toys uh, see that water like I said you can tell when it breaks through um, and he uh, generated this uh, template by first 3D scanning the windshield that he has as a sample and then making a template. He sent me this uh, Lightburn file to my email, set it up and cut out the pieces. He's going to bend them to the right shape with a mold that he made, apply a little heat and bend it. Now I can't wait to see how it turns out. These pieces turned out pretty well. They're all precisely the same size, as you can see. Alrighty, Chris, the next is up to you. Thanks, y'all, for watching. See you on the next video. Have fun.